Hi everybody. Right, I'm just trying to sort the zoom and the focus out. Hi Tavona, welcome sweetie. It is, it's ages since I've seen you. How are you doing? I hope you're well. Uh, this camera is not zooming in properly again. What is wrong with you again? Well, I'm going to have to bring the boom arm down because it's not zooming in. That's sending it blue. Try there. Uh, I want to focus in a face and for some reason the zoom's not working again on the camera. So I've had to do it like this. And I hope it's clear for everybody. And I'm going to use Copics. This is uh, a new one by Christine Caron. It's called Queen's Chalice. It's a beautiful image. I've put the link down below to buy it from the Etsy store if you're interested in it. Well, work's priority, sweetie. You can't buy your supplies without working for money for it. So, fully understand that. It's nice to see you anyway. Right, I've got a selection of Copics. Um, I've also bought some new ones. I brought uh, Brick Beige and I got Warm Grey 1 and 3 as well. Because I've got loads of cool greys but I've got no warm grey so I thought I'll treat myself. That's good if it looks clear sweetie. Thank you very much. Right, so I'm going to start with the Brick Beige as for shadow not used this one before so we'll see how she goes this one is e31 or e31 i'm going to use it where i want the darkest of the shadow and christine's good because she puts you a fair amount of uh, grayscale in if you're not too sure where to put your shadows I highly recommend going for a grayscale picture. I'll just feather this colour into the middle a bit. It looks like a coffee colour, doesn't it? I take it you've not done much colouring either then if you're working a lot to Varna. Right, with that there for now. Put some soft sun in which is a yellow tone. It's E21. Hi Connie, welcome sweetie. How are you doing today? How's your arm? Right. So the E21, I'm going to take over the brick beige or the E31. Trying a different colour scheme again, Connie. I bought some new colours.
yeah new colors i bought um e31 which is brick beige and i bought two warm greys because i i've got loads of cool greys but no warm gray so i got warm gray one and warm gray three so i thought i'd test those out today i've also got um rv21 which is a light pink your arm's still the same i'm sorry to hear that do you go for the um injections to uh for pain relief that's what the they've offered ian for his uh his ankle but he's terrified of needles so he won't go for it the cortisone injections is a bit worse when it comes to needles even though he needs blood tests every three months <laughs> you'd think he'd get used to it wouldn't you <laughs> he just hates needles in general the idea of it a long needle going in between two bones um, it puts him off they do use a needle to freeze the skin beforehand but it's just the idea of it he don't like it uh, right i think i need a mid-tone but i'm not sure yet that one's darker until let me get me Zero. Cotton pearl. You don't care for needles either. Hmm. That's the trouble with nerve damage, isn't it? It's very hard to treat. Something that will never go away. You can't repair them, so unfortunately it's down to pain management now isn't it same as Ian I'm just bringing this colour more to the centre this gives it a nice warm tone Some people do a dip between the nose. I do a slight one so it don't look like she's got a square nose that goes up straight up to her forehead. So I do like a half crescent like that. And I've got E50. Ooh, it's not very nice being bit by a spider to Barna. Um, Ian, he's got blood disorder, 
and every now and again it's uh, Billy Rubin goes for early eye and he ends up really orange and gets hospitalised. And every time he's in there they can take 10 to 14 injections of blood each time that they need to test his blood and they do that three or four times a day. And even though he has them all, the, all them injections, every single time he ends up in there, he still don't get used to the needles. You think you would. Uh, this is the E50. First layer is always blotchy. Yep, that's a lot. It's because it's got um, hereditary spherocytosis, so his blood cells attack it. Uh, attack themselves, uh, the whites attack the reds or whatever, the, whichever way round it is, I can't remember. Um, it happens a lot with trauma, so every time he has an accident, then his blood will attack, attack himself, makes him ill, so it ends up with extreme uh, anemia. But it also attacks his liver, uh, so the bilirubin uh, goes through the roof. Because his body's trying to correct itself while attacking itself at the same time. Very complicated, but he ends up in hospital every time it gets bad. The last time he went in he says please tell me we don't have to do blood tests this time <laughs> and they said sorry I can't tell you that <laughs> hi hello how are you doing sweetie right, I'm going back with the brick beige it's wrong end I want other end Darken all the shadows again. Oh, I forgot her eyelid there. I'll have to come back in. comes the rain again. It's been non-stop all day. Getting rather fed up of it. It seems as the winter gets earlier every year. Let's warm it up a bit with a bit of R20. You good? Awesome. Yeah, I'm doing all right, thank you. Hey, Della, did you get my message, sweetie? Uh, let's warm this side up a little bit.
Okay, I think I've warmed the nose up a little bit too much. I sent you a message on Messenger, but it doesn't matter if you didn't get it. I was just letting you know that was streaming, that's all. But yeah, so it doesn't matter. That's alright, Tavana. You, uh, you got a new project you're thinking of? That's warmed it up a bit, hasn't it? a little bit more in just a massage and blend it back with the R20 that one with RV21 light pink and blend it back in with this one That looks a bit warmer. Now I need something for shadow, so I think I'll try this one grey. Oh, I'll have one as well, Lou, please. <laughs> Tea, no sugar. Oh, that's that sounds beautiful. I keep looking at that book. The is it the flower year one? I'm thinking uh, I keep I keep putting it in my basket and then taking it back out again. Tracy, welcome, sweetie. Oh, that's all right, Della. <laughs> I keep forgetting it, how early it is for you. Good job I didn't wake you up then, eh? With message. Right, I've got warm grey one. Just blend in that. One grey three I've just put down.
Right, let's put some brown back over that. E31. Hi Debs, welcome sweetie. How are you doing? Oh right, I didn't know she did PDFs. That might actually be something better for me. I shall go and have a look. Right, I'm just warming that back up with brown. I'm trying not to give her a funny shaped nose, but it's difficult because I tilt her red and I'm not really brilliant at this shape. Let's see if I can do it right. Making it look weird. Looks a bit square, doesn't it? I can soften that out a bit with some pencils in a bit. Right, I want a neck doing, so I'll carry on with this colour. E21. Hi Ria, welcome sweetie. Uh, no, it's um, normal grayscale, but my camera is picking it up as a blue tone. Thank you, Tabana. It is, it's a beautiful page. Um, I know I wanted to colour it as soon as I seen it come on Etsy. I love Christine's work. I like these new colours because it stops me going mega dark that I usually do. double zero <laughs> yeah it's picking the darker uh, black up as a blue tinge
E triple zero. Is that blend it all? Wait for that to dry again and it will fade again. Uh, oh, thank you, Lou. Just testing some different colour schemes out because um, I like how I'm trying to do different tones of colour for skin. See, normally I'd come in really dark on the shading. Uh, I'd use E04 with E11 over it for the shadow. So I'm trying something different. Drive safe, Corolla. Thank you for nipping in. E three one. If you can hear this or not, but mittens are snoring under the table.
Have a wonderful day, Corolla. E double zero. You're snoring too loud, Mrs. I don't care, she says. to warm thin R20 and warm the shadows up a little bit Pop the pink wire, me chat. Let me just get rid of that, or else I can't see what you're saying. There we go. So, what's everybody's plans for today? Are you colouring? Working? Planning colouring, gardening, what are you up to today? Because I'm being nosy.
I'm combining for ready for a new nib on this one. It's getting a bit floppy on the end. But she'll love that, Della. Homemade birthday cake. What flavour are you doing? Uh, enjoy your weekend, Tavana. Oh. What sort of puppy are you getting? That's alright Rhea. Um, sleep well sweetie. And thank you for coming. Have a wonderful weekend sweetie. I've got E double zero. Okay, chat's going too quick. I missed what flavour cake. <laughs> and I love cake. Where are we? This is the birthday cake. There we are. Did you say what flavour? I've missed it. Oh. German chocolate. What sort of German chocolate? Which chocolate will you be using? Oh, that's wonderful, Tavana. There's nothing like having your own pet after you've got your own place. They're Alex's favourite KC Spaniels. That's where he wants when he gets his own place. Hey Brian, welcome sweetie. How are you doing? Oh, lovely. So have you thought of any names? Or have you been round any breeds yet to have a look? Round the breeders, should I say. If you can, try and go round a family breeder not farm breeders. The farm ones are that bred that often you usually find that there's something wrong or they get ill a lot. I always tend to look for ones that's in houses like we are and try and see parents, see how they are with 
um, pups the breed mm -hmm. right it's a cake mix you use and uh, dark, dark chocolate but not very dark right so you don't know what brand of chocolate it is then f from Germany I'm glad you're doing well Brian that's good oh you celebrate Halloween do you That's good if you know who the breeder is then, Tavana. Mm. Hey, but how are you doing? Not seeing you for a while. Yeah, I, I think puppy farms are the worst thing ever. And I feel really sorry for Melody losing her puppy after she'd had him for three days. Um, there's too many on them about. They breed, overbreed them. It's about time they got prosecuted. I'm just using Smart 20 to warm up the shadow again. I don't want too much on this hand because it's not curled into a fist so she's not going to have a lot of shading on it there we go right, move those out the way and I've got two colours for you eyes I thought I'd go green this time well I went blue on the last one so I thought I'd go green and I've got olive which is G99 and I've got yellow green which is YG03 so I'll start by putting the lightest down which is yellow green 93 and even though it's the lightest I'm still putting it in the shadows I want to leave a spot for light. Got an irritating itch on my cheek. Trying to colour and ignoring it, screaming at me. <laughs> you forget that. Where it just itches and gets worse until you gear in and scratch it. Oh, happy birthday for Wednesday then. Hi, Leah. Yes, they are, they are horrendous. Uh, my friend, she can, she uh, rescues dogs. Uh, she can, campaigns against puppy farms. And she works, she used to work for RSPCA until she retired. And... Um, some at sites she's seen over the years. It, oh, it makes you cry to think on them. This one's the olive. I'm not putting too much in. I just want a little bit. I can put different colour in with pencil. I'm using this for the dark shadow. Excuse me. Now, I think I might do a dress green and then it'll match in with your eyes. What do you think? Yes, exactly, Tavana. Ethical breeders. Mm. 
it does. Um, she worked for, for 40 years, so she knew all ins and outs of res um, rescuing them from uh, different buildings and what have you. Yes, I think I will do the green. I'm just going to sparingly do the olive though. Because I don't want mega dark shadow all over it. We'll see how it goes. I might have to find a mid-tone to go with it. Because I don't think just the two colours will work. Definitely need a mid. I'll leave that there a minute. Uh, let's have a look. G66. Where are you hiding? No, I haven't got my G66. Well, I must have put that in the wrong place then. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Two. Does not. Right, so I need to change that. <laughs> have to carry on with it, or else I could look odd on the rest of the dress. I'll change the tone over the top of it. the other one well I know there's another one there somewhere where are you Day, sweetie, and enjoy your weekend. Uh, 
lots of big problem with cats, the breathing. Because yeah, I agree with that. That's better, that's blending it in better. Oops, there's it. Hope I didn't drop the pen. Bear with me a second, when that cat's a scratching door. Let me just go and let her out. Oh yeah, um, yeah I can understand that Connie, I'm shipping them all over Europe you don't know where they've come from, uh, let's see if this lighter one works for you now, or have I made the shadow too dark? Anybody who's new who may be lurking, I do experiment a lot and sometimes the experiments don't work and sometimes they don't. But it's all fun. That's different, isn't it? Mm. 
Most times they do know where they're coming from. Is that what you mean? This is BG93. I'm using it over the other green that I put down that I weren't sure about. But this darkens it a little bit. Changes it. I don't know if you've tried mixing in ink colours before but it's fun because you get different tones do this as lace and have it separate colour from the rest but I'm not too good at doing that so that's why I've picked to do it this way Thank you, Debs. It's different. Definitely different to what I would normally do anyway. Put the dark shadow in that bit again.
Thank you. I must admit, at one point I thought I'd messed up. But I do like how it's coming out. It's not too dark on this side, there's no deep shadows. Welcome. Hi Sherry. Hope all goes well at Doctor's Sweetie. Thank you to Barna.
That's better. I was going to do it white, but I forgot those cuffs. Ashley, welcome sweetie. <laughs> you're working on your Halloween grocery list. What are you going to have for Halloween? What sort of foods do you normally have? We don't celebrate Halloween, so I'm intrigued. What do you normally eat for Halloween? Uh, you're not doing trick or treating, I don't blame you. It's safe for staying at home. Ooh, that sounds nice. Only thing I've ever wrapped hot dogs in is bacon. That sounds intriguing with the croissant.
Oh, that sounds good. Pumpkin t-shirts. Well, you buy them costumes and then you get them out year after and they've grown out on them. So, um, really, you're wasting money. But having t-shirts, it's not just for Halloween, is it? You can wear them any time. Even if you used to come under pullovers in winter. It doesn't really matter what pictures on them, does it? If it's underneath wool. Anything too much green or does it look all right? You love the green. Thank you. Yeah, the lacy bits I think I'm going to shade with pencil because I'm too heavy handed with these. I can't get a fine point. So once it's fully dry I can go in with some pencil. the lace on the head veil bit. Um, don't, I'll leave that one out. I'll put them to 
too much. Thank you, Ashley. Okay, Tavana, sleep well, sweetie. And thank you for coming. It's been nice seeing you again. run out so I can't use that one Cassandra, welcome sweetie. And can't you sleep? G21 which is slime green G triple zero. Been all right, thank you, sweetie. How are you? I've got the yellow green again. The reason I put the other one down is to get a bit of shadow underneath the yellow green. again with this probably didn't need it looking at it I 
was trying to do a different tone but I don't know if it's worked or not go in the background because it, it lays behind her I should think it don't want just have sides would it the trouble is I don't want it to end up blending in with the dress and you're getting where you can't see the dress in a bit so I can change direction. Hi Grown, welcome. Hi Kirsty, welcome sweetie. Sorry if I've missed anybody. Please shout up if I have. I've not looked at chat for a while. I don't normally use green. I'm not I tend to gravitate to the reds and the browns. But some for some reason I thought this lady needs green.
So that's going to have shading on it, isn't it? That bit. Um. Right. I'm going to leave that there for now. I can always add more colour and put a pencil over it for more change of colour. See how it goes. Oh, I've fit some bursts, Kirsty. Uh, I could do loads of pictures with ink tents and then I change to pan pastel or watercolour or dry pencil and copics. It's whatever my mood takes me. What about you? Do you change what you use quite often? Or do you spend a long time using a medium that you like? And then every so often you think, oh, I've not used that for a while. I think I'll get that out again. I'm not a fab fan of green either, Debs. But I don't know, I just thought emerald we are being a queen. Does that make sense? It's like jewels. And green to me is like jewels, so that's why I thought we're using it. And I'm glad I did because I like how that looks. It looks a bit like a velvet dress. What's this one, the light one? Want the other one. Want some more shadow under that edge of the cape. That's better. Let's save on this side. What colour air to go with green? Hi Jodie. Oh, sleep well Cassandra. And thank you for nipping in.
just putting a yellow base down on these earrings. I'm going to do shading with pencil. What colour shall I do her nails and her lips? Being a queen, she's not going to be bright red, is she? pale pink and then I can do the flowers to bring out the colour of her lips and her nails or I could do a light purple Yeah, light brown for a air. <laughs> no, I've not done her air, Kirsty. <laughs> She's too young to be grey. flat colour and then I can shade it with a good pencil same way our lips just do it flat with this and then add shadow with pencil same with these and then I can bring pencil in to do the shadow on them
bled out, so I've got the clear one. Going to bleed back into flower. There we go. <laughs> she could. You're right, Jodie. But I'm trying to steer away from reds because I always go for reds. another edge again Right, if I leave them plain like that, like I say, I can add some shading with the pencil. What colour are you doing your berries, uh, Connie? And thank you. I'm glad you like the green. I'm glad I did it now, because I weren't going to do green. Then I changed my mind and thought, yeah, I'll do green. Uh, right, brown for a... Uh... What browns? Got the black camel.
oh lovely the autumn page that you were doing it'll be beautiful I've not done any finished, uh, you know, videos of finished product projects this year. Time's just got away from me, and I haven't done any each month. So I've got a whole load to do for the whole year. So. I've got to try and find time to do a video for that as well. I think it's 1st of November on Sunday. This year's gone so quick. This one's E35. I'm just using this right at the top where the deepest shadow is.
No, I've got my E50. Hmm, add a bit of this E31. like that. Yeah, that looks nice. Mm, what green now for the leaves? I've only got four minutes left. Two hours has gone already. Thank you, Debs. Can't believe how quick the time's gone. So, if I show you what I've got in mind with the pencils, I'm going to use polys this time. slice
something like that. Sorry I can't zoom in anymore, for some reason the zoom's not working on the camera. And use this to darken under the edge of the lace. Like that. I'll make that stand out and then probably the same for the shading where it folds over. I'm just doing a quick scribble just to show you what I've got in mind. Thank you Della, thank you Debs, and then if I need some extra dark I've got the deep cobalt green that I can just run under the very edge. shading like that so I've got them two colours planned um, for eyes I'd probably use the dark green which is chrome oxide green just to bring the shadow down a little bit more I wish I could get the camera to go right down because you can't really see it. I'm going to have to ask Liam to have a look when he gets home from work, find out what's happened to it. And I still need to put the colour on the, white, the whites for her eyes. That's what I'm thinking for there. I think Friday I'll come back and finish and do all the shading with the pencil so I can show you out what I'm thinking of the goblet and her earrings and the crown. I've still got her hair colour to do behind the crown but I've not touched it yet because I don't know how much is going to be shadow from the crown and how much is going to be air showing. I'm not sure yet. Oh and I still need to figure out what greens to use for the flowers. So I'll leave that for Friday then and then I can uh, think about it properly plan it out and we can do it together so Friday from now on winter times will be what today's been 2pm 2, 2 GMT uh, which makes it what 9 a.m. Eastern? So, 
It will do. As soon as I've got more shading in, it'll bring it up more out of the picture, out of the paper, should I say. So, everybody, thank you very much for spending time with me today. And I hope you've enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you all on Friday. Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Connie. And um, stay safe, everybody. Enjoy your weekend. It's Friday today, isn't it? Why am I saying I'll see you on Friday? I'll see you on Monday. Because <laughs> it, it's weekend, isn't it? I'm thinking we all now start at week. <laughs> Brain gone. <laughs> Right, so enjoy your weekend and I'll see you Monday, 2pm. 2, 2 <laughs> Have a wonderful day and I'll see you all soon. Thank you, groom. Bye Della, take care sweetie and you're welcome, I'll send you a message next time as well. Love to all.